Brown Girl Dreaming, a novel by Jacqueline Woodson. Second Daughter's Day on Earth. My birth certificate says female Negro. Mother, Mary Ann Irby, 22, Negro. Father, Jack Austin Woodson, 25, Negro. In Birmingham, Alabama, Martin Luther King Jr. is planning a march on Washington, where John F. Kennedy is president. That all men are created equal. Yeah. In Harlem, Malcolm X is standing on a soapbox talking about a revolution. It's liberty or it's death. Outside the window of University Hospital, snow is slowly falling. So much already covers this vast Ohio ground. In Montgomery, only seven years have passed since Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on a city bus. Excuse me, are you gonna move? No. I am born brown-skinned, black-haired, and wide-eyed. I am born Negro here and colored there. And somewhere else, the Freedom Singers have linked arms, their protests rising into song. Deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. And somewhere else, James Baldwin is writing about injustice, each novel, each essay changing the world. I do not yet know who I'll be, what I'll say, how I'll say it. Not even three years have passed since a brown girl named Ruby Bridges walked into an all-white school. Armed guards surrounded her while hundreds of white people spat and called her names. She was six years old. I don't know if I'll be strong like Ruby. I don't know what the world will look like. When I am finally able to walk, speak, write, another Buckeye, the nurse says to my mother, already I am being named for this place, Ohio, the Buckeye State. My fingers curl in the fists automatically. This is the way my mother said of every baby's hand. I do not know if these hands will become Malcolm's, raised and fisted, or Martin's, open and asking. Or James is curled around the pen. I do not know if these hands will be roses or rubies. Gently gloved and fiercely folded. Calmly in a lap on a desk around the book. Ready to change the world.